here we are, losers semis, Kizo versus Scores, just a day after they most recently played, that was a 3-2 to Scores, but Kizo was going solo wee fit trainer yesterday, it'll be interesting to see what he decides to go today. The wee fit trainer, not his main, but still obviously more than capable. And he's bringing out the main. He's got the Pokemon chain. We're starting off on stage two. And Squad's building up a nice bit of damage. Boomerang. Nothing squirrel with drawing his tracks and out come dive score. Yeah, so character has got some projectiles of his own to uh, to fight against him more. Kizo, not scared, he's not going to jump just because of that bomb. And nice Z drop, but Kizo. Got two link off stage and ooh, nice catch with the up B. Nice to have the four thoughts to see do that. And now Kizo holding the ledge for scores now back in advantage. And very strong back air, and he's got to be careful with that spike. He manages to make it back. He's attempting to end it, and out comes Charizard. Oh, nice catch on the jump with Flare Blitz. And Kizo is there with the lead. It looked ugly at the start, but he's brought it all the way now. And good catch on the neutral get up with upbeat at ledge. Charizard's out, but here comes Squirtle. Build up some damage before we get to Ivysaur. Try for the kill. Oh, that was that was a nice that was a nice little bit of pressure from Scores, using the boomerang to make sure that Squirtle can't can't escape. And again, nice. And he's building up a good percentage lead, and out comes the Ivysaur. Scores again. Nice. Strong pressure and oh, close! And he's just he's just content to keep Ivysaur in the air, keep him juggled. Oh, strong forward smash on this face to grab and scores with quite a lead now. And Charizard is Charizard's going to get juggled by up tilt for years. We're back out to Squirtle and scores scores with the lap now. And every trade that we oh that was that was good di nearly a kill. But every trade that happens now, as so long as it doesn't kill scores, is in his favour. Good smash on the platform. Doesn't get much, but the pressure's been relieved a little. But scores is straight back on it. Nice landing back air from Kizo. And back throw. Yes, back throw will take it. So we're down to last stop, but a good percentage lead from scores. He needs to land a clean hit. Good spot dodge on the grab. Oh! Cheeky Z drop there. Good wait from Kizzo. Now he's got two link above him, but two links back down. Oh! The up air catches the jump out of field, and game one goes to scores. So we've got Final Destination and Lilac Band, so let's see where Kizo chooses to go.
Pokemon trainer again, but this time he chooses to start on Ivysaur. Clearly feeling like that's a better choice to start with. And Scourge was managing to keep out Sprout quite well with the sword. Yeah, so... Nice juggle from Kizzo, he's already built up 70%. Oh! And forward smash. So much range, it's deceptive. Kiz Kizzo saying, I'm not here to play. Fortunate up B and Kizo with a clean lead. Let's see if Scores can bring it back. And yeah, Kizo's Kizo's extensions are just looking clean at the moment. And oh, the double parry just for the style. And Scores needs to get this kill. He needs. He needs to halt that momentum. And oh, the reversed up B. That was very cheeky. And um, yeah. It was a strange interaction. But yeah, Kizo back to Ivysaur as quickly as possible. Clearly his preferred character for this matchup. And such a strong up air. DI perhaps can been survived with it, but. Scores is straight back on it, and nice. The boomerang confirms into the up the out of shield. He's saying, no thank you, sir. Get away. Kizo making really good use of this game. The range on either source grab to really threaten Toon Link's danger zone. And the thing that we keep seeing is that Kizo is just, he's not falling for the bomb confirms. He knows they're coming and he's not scared. But there's one. I'm sort of just heavy enough to avoid it. Oh, nice forward tilt. And doesn't quite survive that. So, last stop, we've got a 84% lead. Um, certainly certainly not undoable and scores is showing us just that already but, ooh. and scores just managed to avoid it and Kizo he's building up a lot of damage on Kizo In the arms of an angel. Are we going to see a flare blitz? I think Kizo is just content to go. Oh, and the dash attack takes it. So now it's well, one apiece. Very close set between these two. Again, opting to start with Ivysaur. <laughs> and 
and nice boomerang confirmed there from Scores. And he's building up a good lead to start with. Kizzo answering straight back with some juggling. Oh, a reverse bomb confirmed. It's nice. Kizzo choosing to stick with the Charizard. And um, we're back to Squirtle. And I think yeah, we'll see the change to Ivysaur. Um, very nice tech and unfortunate SD from Kizzo. now see how much extra credit he can get, how much he can absorb this momentum, but withdraw just straight through all of it. Oh, and we've got a cheeky little juggle coming out from scores, grabbing, nice bit of ledge trapping, but the boomerang, the boomerang with the assist. And he's just happy to build up as much percent as he can. We're already at 110%. Oh, I'm, nice try, but we're going to see the back throw and Kizzo really wanting that spike to uh, get him back in this game. And such a strong forward air takes it. 2-1 to scores. Changed the starting lineup this time. We see Squirtle. There's a game five. Perhaps we see Charizard. We're back to Pokemon Stadium one. A little less space for scores this time. Um, I, mean, I really wanted to get in and, and bully to link with those massive, strong hitboxes. <laughs> And he is just chasing to make it across the stage. A beautiful juggle. And scores now resetting the neutral. No, it didn't take too much damage. And Kizzo trying to end it all there. Scores back down answering immediately. Oh, the boomerang catching the flare blitz. Forward smash taking stop one. Scores counting those down. The bomb potentially saving him from the up B confirm. And nice little bit of percent. The more the merrier. We've got some Eurovision playing now. I wonder what song. <laughs> And scores making excellent use of that. Okay, that will be. Oh, that's unfortunate. Scores are sitting pretty at 155%. Ooh. Yeah, back throw definitely will take that. But some nice extra credit on the first stop from scores. And he's, he has Ivysaur trapped on the ledge, they're back now, and time for Kizzo to see what magic he can make happen, Nair's on the shield, and scores again with the up the out shield, and stay away, oh, and an up the 
not quite excellent DI from Fizzo. And it will that will happen this time, so Kizzo potentially on his tournament stop. And back to either sort of sticking with what has come from here. And that was that was an important air dodge from the scores. He really wants to build up some more credit, and that's a good start. Nice read with the up B, but unfortunate sour spot does so it doesn't kill. And that that was a very well timed uh, bomb pull from scores exploding as he lands in disadvantage to stop his up B onto stage being punished. And now let's see. a down throw killing. That's that's a new one for even me. Scores again. It doesn't take catch at that time, and Kizo is chasing down those air dodges, and he's it's already close to even. Such a scary advantage state with Ivysaur. And as soon as Scores gets in, he's just out of there, and the landing there. Scarily close game. Scores fighting for his place and loses semis. Kizo fighting for that game five. Oh, and that's unfort unfortunate attack for a major kill there. And what a confirm to finish out the set for the scores. <laughs> Playing against this one, 